Welcome to Section 5 of our Crisis Resource Management course. We're going to build on our previous themes of preparation, anticipation, and communication so that we can make decisions effectively during a crisis. The take-home message of this section is that to make decisions and adapt during a crisis at a moment's notice, we're going to need to embrace a sense of curiosity and psychological safety. Close your eyes and think of a crisis situation that you've experienced. I want you to think of a time when you observed chaos. You didn't know the names of anyone around you. Your heart was racing and you needed to do something fast. This week, we'd like you to consider these four questions, which pertain to the principles that we'll discuss in this section. First, how do you quickly acquire or regain situational awareness at a moment's notice? Second, how do you organize a team of strangers to function effectively? Third, how do you challenge authority when you don't agree with what's going on around you? And finally, how do you create psychological safety on the fly? The inconvenient truth is that during a crisis with multiple inputs, when we're hungry, angry, late, tired, or stressed, reality bites and we may be in over our heads, depending on our familiarity with the environment and our own expertise level. Knowing who's in charge may not be clear, people may be rude, and decisions still need to be made. Furthermore, the stress we experience affects our physiological response to crisis, and that response impacts performance. During a crisis, our heart rate can increase significantly. When our hearts beat more than 115 beats per minute, fine motor skills such as placing an IV begin to deteriorate. However, when heart rates are between 115 and 145, Complex motor skills like intubation or placing a central line are at their peak. Cognitive function also peaks in this range. After 145 beats per minute, our ability to perform complex motor skills diminishes. But gross motor skills like chest compressions remain at optimal levels. When our heart rates go above 175 beats per minute, our capacity for all skilled tasks disintegrates, and we can experience catastrophic cognitive and physical breakdown. As we experience these physiological responses to a crisis, we will need to make decisions. Therefore, the crisis resource management principles, regaining situational awareness, organizing to team, challenging authority, and creating psychological safety are all vital when dealing with the stress and cognitive burden of a crisis.